Everybody just walk around. Up chop! Ah! <laughs> That's we my go-to move in some We're, uh, we're going to do a, a series cup. right here. Um, versus. You versus you. The versus series. Yeah. Let's talk about, let's pick an exercise. Let's get uh, divided here. What was let's, that right let's there? Let's pick two. I don't know. Was, <laughs> he's got, his kung fu's getting strong. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's pick uh, two exercises um, that are very, very similar but different. You know, working the same muscle. Let's talk about uh, you know which one may be better for certain you know okay. reasons or whatever. Actually, this is a great idea because I feel like uh, how many times as trainers have you guys had this question? What's the best exercise for this? Yeah. What's the best yeah. exercise for my biceps? What's the best exercise for my chest? So, exactly. Yeah. So I I, I want to like start. This. I want to like start. a pecking order of these different types of exercises. There is, and some of the exercises are so similar that it's it's an interesting discussion. Well, what do you want to start with? I want to start with flies. Okay. What mm. dumbbell flies? Dumbbell fly, cable flies, flies right? versus a cable yeah. fly. Like, okay. Like the benefits of each. So um, why don't you dim, why don't you demo a, a, a dumbbell fly for us first? Okay. So are you gonna do this with the flat bench or the uh, incline? It doesn't matter. Let's just let's just because that's another debate. All oh, it in matters. Itself, right? <laughs> it matters, buddy. <laughs> well, <laughs> so we'll start with uh, uh, a fly with dumbbells. All right. So very traditional exercise. Uh, we've all seen this in the gym, right? Elbows out, slightly bent, hands facing each other. Come out real wide, come down into a nice stretch across the chest, and then bring them together. Right. With the fly, what you're trying to do is you're trying to work uh, the pecs um, in their fullest range of motion. The pecs attach along the sternum, in the humerus, and they're involved in what's called horizontal adduction of the humerus. With the fly, uh, it's a free weight movement, so I can move in almost any direction. Mm -hmm. Most of the resistance, when I'm doing this fly, when I'm in this position here, so just imagine I'm laying down. And you're this, opened all the way up. When, what, the weight up here isn't very difficult for my pecs. I'm not really supporting much on my pecs until I get out here, until I'm opposing gravity. Mm -hmm. The weight is heaviest when it's directly opposing gravity. So when another doing, way of saying the heaviest, this is when the chest is working the most. That's when you're getting the right. most tension. Yeah. So when I'm out here, here is where I'm gonna get most of the tension. Here is when I'm gonna get the least amount of tension. Mm -hmm. Now that's very different for a cable fly. So let's walk over. Okay. Follow me to my cable. Follow Gosh, I should, me. I, I, uh, I don't wanna sing too much on the show because I don't want people to. <laughs> to uh, scout I want you to be able to express yourself yeah. though. Don't, don't be a shy. So with a cable fly, I'm gonna do the same exact movement, okay? Same exact motion. Arms start out, start out here, and then I bring them together. Now, the difference between these two movements is with the dumbbells, most of the resistance was here, the least amount of resistance was here. With cables, the resistance is the same. It's consistent all the way through. It's pretty consistent. Now there may be some variations depending on the attachment of the pulleys and you know if the angle is sharper versus further out, but uh, there's definitely a different tension curve yeah. with the exercise. Now here's the interesting thing. Yeah, the million dollar question though is. Which one's better? Which one's better? Which one's yeah. better? Here's the thing, and this is why uh, many times experience uh, is more valuable than just uh, the science, just looking at things from an objective point of view. Objectively speaking, if I were to analyze both exercises and I had no experience training people, no experience working out, it would be very easy for me to say, well, cables are superior, obviously. Right? Yeah. More time I'm getting under, my, more, more time and attention. attention. More yeah. time and attention. I'm getting more tension Falls through a fuller range of motion. Curve more naturally, all that kind of stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. Now, experience tells me if you had to pick one, you're going to build more muscle doing the dumbbell fly, and typically you'll see that. Um, experience also tells me you don't have to pick one or the other. You should probably do both. probably yeah. combine them, yeah. Yeah, what do you guys think about that? So it depends on who I'm teaching and mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do. So for me, that's how I, I would make a decision. So what I like about doing something like a free motion is so, and we don't have one in here, but I'll put somebody in that position, and then I'll take a PVC pipe, and I'll actually put it on the back of your head, your shoulder blades, and your hips, and I'm gonna hold that PVC pipe there the whole entire time to try while you do a chest fly. It's a great place to teach mechanics. I can't do that mm -hmm. on a bench. Mm -hmm. So even though as a trainer I know that maybe that could be superior for building muscle, 
I might choose to take a client here because then I can work on their mechanics better and I can help adjust them where I don't have that same ability on the bench. And how many times have you had somebody Whoa. doing dumbbell flies and their elbows are dipping in, their, their wrists are above their, their elbows, they're straightening their arms out too much, they're protracting forward. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get in there and actually move them into good mechanics. To kind of piggyback on what you're saying, like you're in an upright position and it's a lot more like, uh, relatable as far as like everyday movement and function. So mm -hmm. if I'm upright and I'm actually squeezing in and doing this movement, more than likely you're gonna be doing that at some point during your day mm -hmm. versus laying down and, and pulling something in from this angle, mm -hmm. so. Now, now, now that all being said, right, consider the individual that you're working with, consider their issues. Let's say you generally are working with someone who's got no major imbalances, you know, relatively healthy, they want to just build muscle in the chest, and you have to pick one. If I this have would to, never happen. This would never happen, by the way. But if you had to pick one, if I have to pick one, then I, I I have to be able to ask this question to you. Then, which one of these have you been doing more recently? Of course, yeah, great great question. Because Whichever if I can if I if I can get that. If I know that you do cable flies all the time, and you're doing the other one, and you, do and other you one. never do dumbbells, makes I'm sense. doing the other one yeah. because you're going to get uh, new stimulation. Yes, new stimulation, new adaptation. We're going to get more bang for our buck. If I have to pick one for this single workout, what's the best thing? And that used to be my go-to question when someone asked me, "What is the best exercise for this muscle?" I would say, "Tell me what you've been doing for this muscle," and then I would tell them something else. But then I would explain to them the reason why I gave that answer answer was because you've already been doing this, the body's already well, pretty adapted I'll to it. also mentioned like from a functional standpoint why I like this one, but over here from a functional standpoint why I like this one is because you get into a little bit more of a unilateral type of a feel. So even though I'm going together, now I have to stabilize them a lot more in all those different uh, ranges that it's, it's capable of going. So I have to really uh, be concerned with how my wrist, how my elbows, how everything lines up perfectly, whereas this kind of provides more of a natural kind of a track, so mm -hmm. I have a line to kind of follow. V versus over here, I really have to, 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 to balance and stabilize these weights that will move. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent point because that brings up just like, I mean, you're always, when you think about it, we're always trying to simulate like walking, right? Like if yeah. we walk this way where everything is speaking to each other, you're on a single pulley system right here, a lot, this is not, as functional as that when you start thinking of it. So I also think that if we were just comparing them heads up, that we would build more muscle over here unless I knew that you were doing that already, yeah. then I would direct you over to the cable. So I guess the general consensus is uh, if we absolutely had to pick and it was just muscle building that we're looking at, I guess the edge would go to the dumbbells, but really the answer is it depends.